This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 19, Functions, Part 11. Change the background with the score. Once you've caught 10 coins, it's time to celebrate. You should change the background to be something fun. Oh, that's awesome. And remember, we've made this bunny. We have this game where we catch a coin. If you don't have this working, you need to go back and do the prior uh, puzzles for this lesson. Well, go bunny, go. All right, so. Let's see, Use do this. Use an if statement and two separate functions to draw your backgrounds. Then go write your function outside your draw loop. You get to decide what a simple or crazy background are. Have fun with it. Use an if statement, two separate functions to draw your backgrounds. Okay. Two separate functions. Then go, oh, oh, I see. They, and I guess we'll name it our function simple background and crazy background. Great. So let me grab these function blocks. Boom. And I'm going to want and one more. I'm just going to separate them out so it's easier for us to see them. You don't need to do this, though. Okay, and then simple background, and then crazy background. Okay, and then once you've caught 10 coins, it's time to celebrate. You should change the background to be something fun. Use an if statement and two. Got it. All right. Wanted to make sure. So we're going to change the background. Hmm. Well, I think for a simple background, I'm just going to do drawing color. Why? Background. Oh, I grabbed color. All right. Background. Um, simple can be. Uh, how does blue look? Oh, it's not going to set it yet. We got to tell it somewhere. So I am not running my function yet. Okay. So if my default's a simple background, I'm going to put a function call. Instead of having background, I'm going to get rid of that now because I have the background set here. I'm going to use a function call at the top to always call my simple, and I'll need to change this in a sec. But let's see. There we are. All right. So it's always going to call that simple background. Okay, so that will be my simple one. Now for my crazy background. Now that is more up to us. Hmm. I might. Decisions, decisions. Let's do. Well, first we'll do a color. And then, hmm, I want green, but we need more than that for a crazy background. So let's also add an ellipse and another ellipse. I have no idea how this is going to be. And another ellipse. I want these all to be about a hundred hundred right for width and height I'm making all of mine a hundred and then for location hmm if they're all about a hundred probably want this one's gonna be at 50 50 this one's gonna be at 100. 100, so maybe I should do another one. I'm kind of experimenting here. I want something to look... Oh, that's 200, 200. Let's see where those are. Oh, whoops. I need to run this. So I'm going to change this out for my testing. Crazy background. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. Why is that like that? 50, 50. Okay, let's Fifty fifty is that two hundred okay, what's the Oh interesting. Oh these are only so okay, got it. Fifty fifty 
So I think I want all of these. Let's do 150. So we get to experiment a bit. And that's what's cool about this. I'm going to do 150, 150 for the size, actually. So I'm going to make all of them bigger. But I do want them separated out by 100. So this is going to be moved down. And this will be my 300. 300, remember, it starts at 0, 0, but ends at 400, 400. Okay, that's a bit better. And then now the fun part is the fill color. Fill color, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, also no stroke, so it doesn't have an outline. And then I'm going to use the RGB value for color. can find it. Click on fill. Oh, here we go. RGB. Okay. And then I want to use random numbers. So I'm going to go to math. Ah, uh, not what I wanted. There we are. There's RGB. Okay. Random number. Random number. And. Oops. Lost it here. Put that up in. This in the middle. And this is going to look wild, but that's okay. Let's see what we got for, um. Our options for all pixels are 0 to 255, so 0 to 255, and then 0 to, oh, 0 to 255. Okay, so the fill is going to be random, and it's just going to keep changing. <laughs> oh, boys. Um, that's kind of wild, but I love it. Why is our text also changing? Because drawing the text must be below will, where we run this function. So when we run the function up here, it's run way up here. And so when the text is drawn, the fill, the last fill color set was this. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I'm now going to randomize, though, the location as... Well, I like their, let's see, I like their Y location. I want one over on this side, one over on this side, and one over on this side. I mean their X location, right? I want them kind of in these columns. But for Y, I, I'm fine with them moving up and down. So what I'm going to do for their Y location is set all of them, whoops, is set all of them with a random number, Y location randomize, randomize, and randomize. And I'm going to randomize it not between 0, because that's the edge of the screen, but between 100 and 300. 400 would be the edge of the screen too, so I'm going to keep it between 100 and 300. Let's see if this is too much, because that means every screen, every frame, they're going to be hopping around, so 30 times a second. <laughs> That seems a bit wild. Um, good. I like it. <laughs> I kind of like that the score number, uh, that the color for the score changes as well. All right. And now the background. Should we change the background color as well? I do like green, but I think what we will do, I'm going to do this RGB again, but, oh, no, that's not, there we are. Um, let's see. I'm going to set this to like, 30. I'm only going to use random for one of them. Right? And our color options will be, so it's not as well between 100 and 150. Let's see. I'm not sure what colors this will make. Ooh, that's not, that's not the green I want. So, 90? That's getting darker. Oh, I like that a bit more. <laughs> so it's a bit wild, but um, I don't know. I enjoy it. <laughs> All right, and it doesn't really tell you what's right or wrong. So that's my background. Um, I'm gonna set my score so it doesn't change color constantly because that makes it pretty hard to read. 
So for that, I need to pick a fill color and make sure above this is the fill for the score. Otherwise, the last fill that is selected, um, ooh, is blue going to work? Yeah, I like blue. Otherwise, the last fill that is selected is the fill from here. Because the function is run, we call the function right up here. All right, so I got a wild, crazy background. We need an if statement to only draw that background if the score is above 10. So, uh, if... Okay. Well, I'm going to put that way down here. Um, nope. Our control if. Fill blue. Put the function here. Okay. I'm going to separate it out with a space just so it's kind of easier to see. And another one just so it's clear what I'm writing. So if, and we made that variable score right up here. Okay. And then in the last one, in the last puzzle, 10, we added one to score if the bunny was touching. We took score, we set it equal to whatever score was already equal to plus one. So now I need, if score is greater than 10, we want to call the function crazy background. Or was it that? It was simple background. Yeah, crazy background. Crazy background okay now i'm going to add my else by clicking the plus else we want to run our simple background and i'm already doing something wrong we need this to be at the top we want to set the background at the top otherwise it will draw the background over everything else that we just did all right let's test this oh whoops my back okay I lost my score there because blue and blue. So I guess we'll just set this to black. Now once I hit 10 here, my background should go wild. I love it. And we could have something where like the level changes or the velocity changes every 10 points. Maybe the character gets smaller. You can kind of go nuts with this. And uh, really make it a game of your own. So I'm actually going to do a few of those things real fast because I think this is fun. So if, if score is 10, then we set the background. But then I also want... Set coin. Set coin. I think I also want my scale of my bunny to be smaller, maybe. So I can do sprite scale. Okay. If score is greater than 10, have a crazy background, but I want my. No, I want my coin to be smaller. Coin scale, um, let's do zero, because remember, it's in point. So 0 0.5 should be 50%. I'm going to increase the velocity of the coin just so everything goes faster. Um, for the entire game, I just want it to be faster. Set velocity between 5 and, I don't know, 12. We could also randomize its spawn location. So Because right now, it's only spawning in the center. Now, after 10, it should shrink the coin size. Yeah, you see how the coin's smaller? So it's slightly harder. I can make my bunny move faster or slower, depending on what I thought changed it up. Um, I can randomize my coin location uh, for its X value, just for X. That would make it harder. So maybe I set this to 100. I'm going to put in random number. Oh, I didn't mean to put... Nope, that's not what I want. I just need random number once. I can set it to... Oh, I already had it for velocity. I want 5 to 12, I was thinking. But for my coins X, I want it between... Um, now, nah, let's do between 50 and 350. So it's always on the screen. Now my coin's going to jump around on me. Ah, and now my money's too slow, so I'm actually missing it. 
and I can make it so I lose points when I miss it. There's a million things you can do with this to make the game your own. Maybe I don't like having the bunny. Oh, there's no way. Cool. All right. Anyways, so I'm going to hit reset. Here's most of the code that I added, right? I did the crazy background, and that's what I used to do it. Okay. And then I also, other than my crazy background and simple background, I changed this up some. That wasn't required. But I did do this if statement up at the top to set the background. And you want the background to be at the top so it doesn't draw over everything else because code runs in order. Cool. That was really cool. Crazy. Have fun with it. We definitely did. Awesome. I'm going to hit finish. And if you want, make sure to share this out with uh, other people. Make your game difficult. You can even post it as a comment. I'd love to see what you make. Great. Let's go on to lesson uh, 20.